introducing my new ride, Betty the Bubble Trike. I got Betty to help Momo and I get around. Dogs can go in Texas here or take public transportation. And also because I'm really interested in small electric vehicles, I think this will be a good, simple, low-cost platform to hack. Betty costs a little over $1,000 from the small Taobao store I got her from. She's pretty rough around the edges, so I don't really suggest trying to explore one. But for learning about electric vehicles and just carrying more and more at night around small local streets, she's perfect. Let me show you her features. There is a door here, but here we are in southern China, so we do it the Duke of Hazard style. Normal handlebar, brake, throttle, light, and signal. There is a gear here, you can switch it to low gear when you go uphill. There is a little heater there in Shenzhen. I don't really need it, but maybe if you live in somewhere cold, this could be useful. Okay, that big black box here is the battery. It's 48 volt. I didn't pay much attention to the stuff here. Um, I will try to figure it out later. I just want to take a minute to give you some good news. I have my first overseas sponsor. Skillshare, they've decided to support my channel by sponsoring a series of videos. Before I agreed, I decided to check out their online community to see if it was a place I thought had value and was some place I felt comfortable recommending. It came at a pretty good time for me because like a lot of DIY enthusiasts, at least a few times a week, I need to look up and learn some new skill and the direction YouTube has taken has made trying to learn anything on that platform pretty tough. When I'm looking for entertainment, sure, YouTube is great. But when I want to do something, I just want to meet, not the 10 minute story, particularly not when it's leaking plumbing or something around the house that's urgent. Skillshare has fast information, but it also has longer, more involved classes for mastering more complex skills. Thousands of them optimized for learning, not for athletes. This week, I wanted to make more and more harness, maybe not for all day use, but for special occasions, so she looked her best. I turned to this ladder working tutorial on Skillshare, and instead of ladder, used it on 3mm PVC, which is cheap to practice on and doesn't waste any animals if you make a mistake. I learned to use the correct tools to cut it into strips, punch holes for posts and buckles, bevel the edges so it didn't chafe her and put it all together. Mama see. Mama see. Good girl. Give me your paws. Your paws. And that way, eh, eh, mama stay. And that papa's go in there. Yes, good girl. Good, good, good. Okay. The first okay, 1,000 to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Okay, this is the harness I make, and this is the color one. I know there are a lot of locks. But she's an escape artist and uh, I gotta be more careful and take good care of her. The Skillshare community is less than $10 a month. They are kind enough to sponsor me. So I hope if you like to learn new skills, you'll take a look. Hey. <laughs> This is a local gated community with relatively little traffic. 
It's a safe place to test Betty without any huge trucks or something dangerous like that. That was my landlord.
issue with that test, test drive is obviously I need a seat belt before I drive it again. And the visibility with the top up is really bad. So I'm going to need to install some cameras. Betty Bubble Truck is a scale up scooter, not a small electric car. There is no way you'd ever bring something like this on the highway. But for errands around the neighborhood, Betty is perfect and can safely go local traffic speed, which isn't very high. The legal speed limit for this kind of vehicle in Shenzhen is 25 kilometers per hour. Until I rig a seatbelt, I'm not even going to try going half of that. More more started on the rear seat, then moved it to sit lower next to and behind me. That puts walls and paddings all around her in the event of a collision, and her harness keeps her from sliding around. She's as safe there as she is crossing the street with me. So it looks like I've got some work to do on cameras and seatbelt before I take her out again. But overall, I think Betty was good value and I can't wait to build some projects around her. Until next time, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.